am a simple woman. I see Splatoon content in the Nintendo Direct. I gotta talk about it. <laughs> Cause like, oh, why, why wouldn't I? A small piece of the Direct was given to us. We got a little bit of a look into the brand new DLC coming to Splatoon 3 later on, likely this year. We know for a fact that we're going back to Inkopolis sometime in the spring. How much we can actually do there is still up in the air, but it appears to be simply a hub world cover over of our normal hub, which honestly, I, I don't really mind it. It's definitely pandering to nostalgia factor, but like, <laughs> I'm I'm people. I'm people that will get pandered by the nostalgia factor. Give me that. I will go there. I will watch the concerts from Callie and Marie. They did a new cover of City of Color. How am I supposed to say no to that? Seeing all that in hopefully HD and not just the Wii U models ported over would be so awesome. I understand that for many people, it's something they'll look at for five minutes and be like, wow! That's cool! I like that! But the whole point of this part of the DLC is simply to hold folks over until we actually get the main course. Or perhaps the side order? Eh, eh, eh. They also named a dude Fred Crumbs. Like, like bread crumbs. Krusty Sean out there ditching his old crumbs for a new life. And this guy's like, uh, uh, uh. I am going to embrace the lifestyle of being literally just crumble. And honestly, I respect him. I hope he's doing well in the shop. <laughs> Sheldon also has kids. Are those, are those his kids? He, he's on the wall in a little photo with them. What happened? Eh, are they just Timmy and Tommy? Ugh. I also frame one took note that there are auto bombs in the store. It's so funny to see Splatoon 2 and beyond stuff in the Splatoon 1 land that we're used to. You got like the big swig in the back over there. That's not, that's not supposed to be there. I personally am okay with spending $5 that's so we can just run around in Inkopolis. I think that's fun. It means the rest of the DLC, the rest of those 20 bucks, goes directly off to the side order. Yippee! When you purchase the DLC, you'll also get your hands on some free money and tickets! I actually did receive that stuff last night when I was streaming, and here's what happened when I got it! So the Splatoon 3 DLC just gave us enough money for four pulls! It is time to gamble, baby! <laughs> I spent $25, and what did I get? We're gonna do only four rolls. Because, technically speaking, that role exists. Alright, we got three chunks for $25. We got three chunks and two stickers for $25. We got three chunks, two stickers, and mana wardrobe mask. $25. That's what the point of the mask is. <laughs> and finally, what else did we get with our $25? I can be a trending villain now. I could be a trending Vic villain. <laughs> the entire stream just breaks. <laughs> Beautiful. Back to side order. Our girl, the one, the only, the Agent 8 is back at it again. I don't know, I can't really see it being anyone else besides Agent 8. And it's really interesting to see her in a completely different environment. The bleached coral look with the black and the red hues. Oh, I, I hope that not every single map looks like this because it might get a little tiresome to look at, but it looks really neat right now. When I was looking at the plaza, the first thing in my head was like, you know those models that like you haven't started to color in yet? Like they show you the base. I, would, I think it would just be really fun if we were the ones kind of bringing that back, you know? No matter what our end goal in the DLC is though, it's, it's gonna be a good time. I cannot expect it to be anything less. Who's to say we can't eventually get a wave three and wave four, mayhaps consisting of us being able to go back to the other side of Inkopolis from Splatoon 2, as well as mayhaps getting another wave of storyline based single player DLC? I think that a lot of people are still caught up on their possibly being cuddlings based on them appearing a couple of times in random places on the multiplayer maps like Hagglefish for example. 
and I wouldn't put it past Nintendo to be hiding that from us for now. I mean, hey, it makes sense. Why should they tell us everything right now? When we originally got the information for Octo Expansion, it was kept hidden from us for a long time. They were like, hey dudes, here's DLC. We'll give it to you eventually. I think right now we know just as much about Side Order as we did before the Octo Expansion comes out, which is crazy to think about, but we really were left in the dark, and that's what made the experience so good. I don't want to know anything. I really hope that eventually Nintendo brings back the side order, probably closer to the anniversary of the game, because we are only five months into Splatoon 3's lifespan at the moment, and then they just say, hey, here's the DLC. Go have fun. I, I will. I will. I'll, I'll play that whole thing in one sitting if I can. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how they'd do it, but I would love some kind of way of bringing in Mr. Grizz into this as well. Just because even though we saw him in the main storyline, it'd be fun to have some kind of Grizz Co. tie into this. That's about all I had to say though. With the new season right around the corner too, and Splatfest soon, it's really good to see how much Nintendo wants to keep this game going. Splatoon still is getting updates, remember, through September of 2024, so things really are just still getting started. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good one.